This is a quick video to show you the handy division way that the kids are learning. It's basically a box method. So in this problem, the actual problem is 4,253 divided by 3. So the way that you probably know it is traditional method where we divide. And we're doing the same steps here, which we teach the kids the trick of does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? So that's divide is the first step. Multiply, subtract, check, and bring down, or in box method, we'll have to bring up. So bring down or bring up. Okay, so in traditional, you're basically doing how many times does three go into four? That's the division step. And so in this case, it'd be one time. Then we multiply. One times three, we get three. Then we subtract. We get one. We check. Is that one less than my divisor of three? Yes. So then we can bring down our two. How many times does three go into 12? Four times. That was our division step. Then our multiply step, three times four, 12. Subtraction step, check. Zero is less than three. So we bring down the five. So it goes on like that in the traditional way. Um, this is the box method. It's basically just breaking it up a little more organized for the kids. So in this case, we're still doing how many times does three go into four, just like we did over here. So one time. And then we write that down. It was three. Multiply. Three times one is three. Subtraction step. Four minus three is one. So in this case, we're just going to bring the one in front of the two. So now it's 12. So how many times does three go into 12? That's our division step. Four times. Our multiply step here. Three times four is 12. Subtract is next. And then we're going to check. Is zero less than our divisor of three? Yes. So now we're going to bring it up in front of the five. So now we do it again. Three goes into five how many times? Once. Three times one, the multiply step, is three. Subtract. We have two. Is two less than the divisor? Yes. So we bring it up in front of the three, so it becomes 23. Three goes into 23 seven times. Multiply step. Three times seven is 21. Subtract. And now we have two, so we check, is two less than three? Yes. Is there anything else to bring it up? No. So our answer is 1,417 with a remainder of two. And they can check that by multiplying it by the divisor. So when they multiply it, they're going to get 4,251. So they have to add the remainder in, and then they get 4,253 which was our dividend where we started with. So that's how they know they're correct.